Hey, hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're getting your finger stuck on stuff. You're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for this is probably going to be one of those little quick, short little videos. Um, what I want to do, I, I recently uh, unbagged this portfolio baseball card slot type of you know, kit, but I don't want to use it as a kit. I want to use it as storage for special drills. So I thought I'd bring you along with me while I do that and see, can it be used for special drill storage? Will it work for me? Let's find out together. Now, this was uh, one of the items I got from One Day Saving. So ch go check them out. They have diamond paintings, they have accessories, and they have all other kinds of crafty goodness. So, um, but you know me, I'm a one craft kind of gal. Uh, you don't want to put a little cross stitch of, you know, needle in my hand or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we stick with the safe diamond painting that only have to worry about the murder tweezers. All right. So, um, here's what we're going to do. I have special drills in here. Uh, this is a Timu book that I had gotten. Um, it's kind of plastic and it has a snap, but it, I'm, the drills are constantly falling out of the pockets. It's a side loader. Now these are square glow in the dark drills. As you can see, you got different colors of these. And I just realized that some of the colors are pretty similar to some in here. We might find some similar or even matchy matchy and apply them to that canvas. Yay, that'll be exciting. But anyway, that's for future me. Current me wants to see if I can put these in here for storage. So I've got glow in the dark squares. I've got a couple of, um, are these round? Nope, couple of square ABs and round ABs. And then I've got some rhinestones that I don't know why I kept them and they're going to probably disappear into the, you know, netherverse. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. So these are already in baggies. Let's see if these baggies will fit in these pockets. Um, and, and if we, so we don't have to transfer. That'd be nice. That would be nice if we don't have to transfer. My concern is, is that these are kind of thick ones. These are, these are thick baggies. Will they? They will. They did. I did. It was a, it's a snug fit but it is a fit. It is not stretching the plastic pocket material to the point of damage, so that's good. Um, but it's snug enough to where these aren't just going to come flying out when I pick up the book, unlike something else over here. So yay! So we've got a yellow square glow in the dark, a gray square glow in the dark, and logical sense dictates that white can go next to gray. I will probably switch these colors around at some point. Um, but again, this is a pretty snug fit, but that's not a bad thing. That is a good thing. That is a thing that if we can fit it snugly, but not rip this plastic bit, um, is, is ideal because then they won't just come sliding out. So I'm just kind of I'm kind of squish squishing, poking this in there. Yeah, I just made up the word squishing. It's okay, guys. Don't judge me. And then we'll put more of the white glow in the dark squares right here. And then we'll, I don't like the color pattern I chose and my brain's not gonna let me live with this for very long. But for the purposes of this video, it's fine. It'll be fine. Yep, so we can just slide it right in there. It, this is this is working out beautifully. All the pockets seem to be um, uniform in size as far as I can tell. Did I get all scientific and measure? No, but um, you know, these bags are all the same size and they're all the same fullness. I have not used any of these in any projects yet, so um, they're all the 20 gram. So it looks like uh, 20 gram is kind of the, I wouldn't push it much further than a 20 gram bag. Um, Cause this is, like I said, it's pretty snug, but I wouldn't want to test it any further uh, for fear of ripping the pockets or stress, stressing and like making the pockets kind of like loosey goosey over time. You know what I mean? So they're perfect. That 
works perfect. Is it going to fall out? One did. One kind of did. Two kind of did. But I have to shake it. So, you know what? I'm shaking it and gravity, gravitying it. <laughs> gravitying. Um, and this is not... This is not a 20 gram bag. This is not as full as these. So that could be an explanation for why. But no, I that does that does not make me unhappy. But I don't plan on like walking around shaking this upside down. I don't plan on carrying it upside down. It does have the handles that when we're carrying it is going to keep it sideways, you know. So the fact that they don't just slide out is nice. So we do have that. And then over here, we'll just put um, our ABs. So here's my square AB. Now this is this might be where we'll have to see how well does it hold a bag with only a few. I mean that's that's pretty snug, you guys. I am not too nervous about this, to be honest. And then, can I? <laughs> I'm struggling here. Clear is hard. <laughs> Clear is not my friend. And then we have these two round ABs. So I'll just put those down here for now because what I feel I'm going to be doing is buying a bunch of these like portfolio style kits and having one for round ABs, one for square ABs, and one for uh, square glow in the darks, and one for round glow in the darks. And like I said, I'm not concerned with keeping these packets of rhinestones. Um, don't remember keeping them and don't know why I did keep them and don't want to keep them. So uh, now I have this book and I think I'm going to repurpose this and make it uh, a sticker book for a future episode of Happy Fun Sticker Time. And I'll just use these pages and pockets as sticker you know placement so yeah this did not work for this purpose for me uh i i will find another purpose for that likely stickers and this is working out perfect so those fit in there they went in nice they come out nice but they stay in again okay if you do something like this a uh, couple fell out but who's gonna do that are you going to walk around like that? Honestly, be real. No, no, you're not. Um, so yeah, this is going to work out just fine. Um, look at all the rest of the baggies that stayed in, even with me, like trying to manipulate the situation to make them fall out. Only these two center ones did. It does. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I think these center pockets might be a little bit bigger than the two end pockets. Um, which might be why these are the two that keep trying to make a guest appearance uh, when I hold it upside down. But you guys, yeah, look at that. And look how thin and nice it closes shut. And nice compact, has a handle. So even if you're carrying it, yada, 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 they're not going to come flying out. It was just when I held it upside down and squished at it that they were manipulated out intentionally with some, some effort. You know what I mean? But normal use, I think this is going to be great. And then when I'm ready to be like, I need some glow in the dark enhancements, some AB enhancements, voila. So yeah, and they do have multiple colors. And what I think I'm gonna do is like have uh, one color represent, say my square glow in the dark, one col collection. And then another color represent my round glow in the dark collection. And another color represent my, you know, AB collection. So that I'll know when I look at my bookshelf and I store these on my bookshelf, I'll know which sections to pull. Like I want square glow in the dark. I know I need to pull the purples and find the one I want. Yeah, and then I can just use it from here also. I can just open it up and just be like, okay, well, I'm gonna use this one. I might use this one. I'm gonna, uh, this can hang out here. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space, but if I don't have the space, I can pull what I need, close it back up, put it on my shelf. Yeah, 
I'm happy. Oh, I really like this for that purpose. But uh, obviously, I'm using baggies. You could use it as a kit, which I think is its intended purpose. Um, you could use these for kits, but I'm happy using it for storage as well for specials. Uh, and then uh, if I want to or need to, I do have these stickers that they sent. I accidentally smudged two of them off with my my fat thumb and it comes with some extra baggies for us to use too if we should need to yeah all right you guys um happy i i approve if you're looking for special drill storage or maybe even to use a new kitting method for a smaller diamond painting or if you get a couple of these even a bigger diamond painting Th this to me is mushy approved for my intents and purposes um, definitely go check it out one day saving I'll leave a link in the description below and like the Cody thing and the the website -y thing and all the things okay all right we'll see you next time stay naughty